What up everybody, it's your boy this month's nigga headed in that house coming with a brand new video. Before we get started as always, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell on the front of my YouTube channel so you know when all my videos drop. <sighs> your boy is super, super hype right now. It's taken about three weeks for this pair of kicks to come in. At, at one moment, we didn't know where they were, we thought they were lost. We being myself, the shoe retailer I got it from, and the post office. But I picked these bad boys up yesterday, and I am beyond hype. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So basically, I got these overseas at size. And crazy stories that when these dropped, I was on their website, and you know, the buy game's crazy. So... I went on not even thinking I had a, ch a chance of getting these. So I kept trying to add, trying to add, trying to add. It kept, you know, the site kept crashing, kept crashing. And um, eventually I'm like, you know what? I'm about to give up. But I don't know, the sneaker gods are with me or something. Because I was able to add this sneaker to cart. And I was able to put it, and you know, had all my info because I already have, you know, my size account uh, already set up. And I'll, I push checkout and submit payment and I thought it went through but then I got an error message saying you know like 503 bad gateway we all know what that is so I kept trying and trying and it wouldn't go through so eventually after about an hour almost of trying I just gave up all of a sudden though and I, I figured I didn't get any get, didn't get the kicks so there was no PayPal notification there was nothing but eventually, I got an email in my junk mail a couple hours later saying, oh, your order's been received. So I'm like, this must be some type of joke. But lo and behold, it was not a joke at all. I actually did get them because later that day, I got a shipping confirmation and I was hyped. But then all of a sudden, one week came, nothing. Two weeks came, nothing. Check the. I actually reached out to size. They gave me the tracking number, and it wouldn't pull up any information. It says we have no information now. So I'm thinking, man, this is lost. Maybe they didn't send out my order. Maybe somebody snagged it. Maybe it's stuck at customs. Who knows? But then all of a sudden, this past Saturday, I was I wasn't home. I get the little UPS USPS, you know. Uh, Sorry we missed you card, so I'm like, these have to be it. So I went yesterday, and I believe these are it. So we're about to find out. Ooh, yes sir. And thank you size for double boxing. So we have a Nike Sportswear box. Uh, you gotta be kidding me right now. Do you see that size? This is not my size. Let me just make sure. This is not my size. I do not wear a 12 and a half. You gotta be kidding me. I did 10 and a half UK, which for this you would be 11 and a half men's, and I get a 12 and a half. Oh, this is a fail. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna have to trade it, but I didn't wanna go through all that. Anyway, folks. We have the Air Max One Atmos. Oh, this is super grill status for me. And that's why I'm utterly disappointed. It's a freaking 12 and a half instead of a 11 and a half, which I wear in Air Max Ones. Oh, beautiful shoe, man. Nike did their thing remastering these for real. I just need to go and flip these and size swap. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. A 12 and a half? I waited three weeks to get a 12 and a half, a full size larger. Even on the receipt, like 10 and a half men's on here. I'm just gonna have to swap because I'm not selling these. I need these in my collection. So if anybody with receipt has a size 11 and a half in the Atmos Air Max ones. Email me, my email is down below. Hit me up on uh, Instagram or Twitter and let me know. But anyway, folks, that is it. <sighs> These are beautiful, man. 
I just wish they weren't so damn big. Anyway, it's your boy, the smartest nigga head, and a brother is out. Peace.